Hey there, welcome again and today's video we are really going to focus on the 5G network in Africa. Um, Kenya we are among the top 5 countries that we are going to receive the launch of 5G. If you want to know where we rank up in the African continent, please hang around, watch till the end. I'm gonna give you a list of where we are placed. Also, if you wanna have a little bit of an idea of what 5G is, please stay with us. First of all, the first country that has been ranked to be enabled with 5G network will be Lesotho, the second one being South Africa, the third one being Nigeria. We are at fourth position, Kenya there, and our very own neighbors, Uganda, will be the fifth one to have the 5G network within their countries. So let's begin by just saying what 5G really is. Well, 5G is the fifth generation cellular network that will enable you to make connectivity from one caller to receiver or typically just browsing the web through the use of internet bundles. Well, one of the main issues that has been circumvented around the 5G network is how much speed it's going to offer us. In terms of speed, if I am to do a comparison between 4G and 5G, I will say we are going to receive uh, 100 gigabytes per second in 5G, which is 100 times more faster as compared to 4G, which only offers us 1 GB per second. Another aspect that has really made speed stand out is its capabilities to enable a lot of devices to be connected on a single network. Basically, it will just accommodate everything that falls into the category of the Internet of Things, that is IoT. For the second point that has really created a lot of debate is latency. Well, when I talk about latency, I am speaking about the time that you would take from either making a call and your call getting through to the other line. Most of the time you'll find that when you make a call, you'll have to stay there for a few seconds before you get connected to the other end. With 5G, it's going to have low latency whereby you will just dial and you will start receiving from the other end starting to hear beeping sounds that you always hear when you make calls or just typically being notified that the uh, person you're trying to reach is not reachable at the moment another aspect about latency is the time you take say from hitting on a link that you received online and actually viewing either be it an article or be it a video that you're trying to stream online. So the buffer time that you, you're going to use will be a little bit lesser. And uh, the concept of being able to make phone calls while at the same time being able to be connected to the internet while on the same network. We had a huge problem while 4G came. Once you enabled 4G on your mobile phone, you would hardly receive notifications such as SMS or receive calls with it because it would automatically just focus on the internet aspect and measure all its speed there. With 5G, there is a very huge possibility that this thing will be happening while you're on call. You would also be able to access the internet. All this being the advantages of having 5G with you, do you think that we have uh, any disadvantages with it? Yes, there are. There are disadvantages. One of the main issues here will be the aspect of range. It has a short range whereby it can only connect to 100 devices just within a very short area. What does this mean really? It will mean telecommunication companies such as Safaricom will have to construct more boosters uh, that will enable people to get stronger 5G network to their phones. The main reason as to why you're finding that it is having a short range is because you're having a maximum amount of speed and for you to be capable of maintaining that you have to reduce the number of users being connected to the network. So it will only focus on connecting to a few users per booster. It can then be efficient for the user. So in terms of a corporate 
basis, telecommunication industries will find the installation of 5G a little bit more expensive because they will need to add more boosters which are closer to enable the connectivity of short range access an actual thing and ensure that the value for the 5G network is worth the change. Over time, we have seen since the evolution of 2G, 3G and 4G, there has been a huge shift in terms of price. What will this mean when we have 5G? Will 5G be more expensive? or would it be cheaper for the consumers let's just hope it will be cheaper i cannot really say if it will be expensive or so but there has been a decline of price in terms of charging for data bundles and uh, we are likely to see this go on a more customer valued basis whereby we are going to receive a lot of bundles because we need to be connected really if you make premium prices for data then you are likely not to have a smooth transition into the 5G network because even at the moment there are people who think 4G is a little bit expensive based on how fast the connectivity is and you are likely to experience your bundles ending on a very short period of time. In terms of price there is a little bit of hope we are going to receive cheaper prices which is a plus for us and more bundles okay one would also ask will 5g render to being a solution to ditching home fiber optic yes because it has a speed higher so there will be a very huge possibility for you not to use your wi-fi home plan but instead just use your phone for most of the things that you will be needing. But to be honest, typically this decision will definitely just pin down to your own liking. If you find 5G being faster and more convenient to you, considering the price that will be charged, then you will have to ditch your Wi-Fi. Well, let me give you the best part of how 5G will be beneficial to you in terms of entertainment. At the moment, 4G has, has really shown its incapability of streaming 4K on a steady version because of the huge amount of data required. But with 5G, we are possibly going to receive a huge amount of streaming capabilities with 8K resolution as well as 4K. Once we have transited to 5G, there is a huge possibility that we are going to stream either movies, music or just videos for fun on YouTube. I would honestly need your opinion on whether you will ditch your home Wi-Fi just because your phone can now be more faster than the home router would you choose between 5g and wi-fi what would you do give me a comment on that also remember to like subscribe and share this video thank you